to this lesson we are going to look at mathematics we are going to find the determinant of a 4 by 4 matrix using the cofactor expansion let us start let us look at this matrix a we are going to find the determinant of this matrix using the cofactor expansion now the first step as usual we need to create a pattern which will be positive, negative, positive, negative. Then going to the second row, we are going to have negative, positive, negative, positive. The third row, it will be positive, negative, positive, negative. The last row, negative, positive, negative, positive. So, in order for us to actually get the determinant using the cofactor expansion we are going to choose a row or column with or which consists of zeros now in this case you can see that this row is the one which consists of uh, zeros or actually many zeros so the first thing that i'm going to do looking for the determinant of a we are going to expand through the last column so looking at the last column we can see that we have negative 0 which is this element then it will affect this row and column and then we can see that we have a 3 by 3 matrix so we have 3 I mean 0, 3, 1, negative 1, 0, 3, 3, 1, 2. And then from here, looking at the second element, it will affect this column and this row. Then we have its positive 1, the remaining matrix is. 1, 2, 1, negative 1, 0, 3, 3, 1, 2. Then moving on to the next element, which is negative 1. We have negative 1, and then the remaining matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix. And we can see this element will affect this row and this column. The remaining matrix in this case we have one two one zero three one three one two then our last element it will be zero positive zero and then the remaining matrix since this will affect this row i mean this column and this row we have this matrix which is 1, 2, 1, 0, 3, 1, negative 1, 0, 3. And then from here, we can see that the first matrix will yield 0 determinant. So okay also the last matrix will also have a zero determinant we need to find the sum of all these three by three determinants so let's say this is matrix b this is matrix c we need to find the determinant of b plus the determinant of c then since we have zeros this will result into the determinant of a so our aim now is to find the determinant of b and c so the determinant of b which is this matrix we are going to use cofactor expansion again but in this determinant i mean this matrix we are going to use or we are going to expand along the second column so creating a pattern again we have plus minus plus 
minus plus minus plus minus plus the first element is negative 2 then we have a smaller matrix which is a 2 by 2 it will be negative 1 3 3 2 then expanding from here we have positive 0 it will affect this row and this column we have 1 2 3 2 the last one which is negative 1 it will affect this row and this column we have 1 1 uh, negative 1 3 from here let me actually use this color 2 multiply, I mean negative 1 multiplied by 2, it's negative 2, minus 3 multiplied by 3, so we have negative 2, negative 2, minus 9, plus, you can see that we are going to have 0 here, 1 multiplied by 3, it's 3, minus minus 1 multiplied by 1, which will give us 3 plus 1. Negative 2. 2 minus 9. Negative 2 minus 9, I mean. We have negative 11 plus 0 plus 4. Negative, I mean it will be negative 2 multiplied by negative 11, we have 22, plus 4. Actually, let us look at this, there's a mistake. Remember that this is negative 1, so this is supposed to be negative here, then this will also be negative, this will also be negative. So we have negative 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 and then negative 1 multiplied by this okay now it's correct so from here we have 2 minus 4 it's actually 80 so the determinant of b is 80 Let us go ahead and find the determinant of C. You can quickly write it here. The determinant of C, we are going to expand along the first column. So we have the pattern is positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, positive, one. We have three, one, one, two minus 0 we have 1 actually it's 2 2 1 1 2 positive 3 we have 2 1 3 1 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 minus 1 multiplied by 1 is 5 then we have 5 here negative 0 plus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2 minus 3 multiplied by 1 we have negative negative 1 
is 2 multiplied by 1, it's 2 minus 3 multiplied by 1, it's negative 1. So you have 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. That is the determinant of C. Now remember the equation we said, the determinant of A is equal to, since you have 0 plus the determinant of B plus the determinant of C plus 0. So our determinant of B is 18 plus the determinant of determinant of C which is 2 but let us not forget this when we go to the, the original equation we can see that here we have negative 1 so negative 1 multiplied by the determinant of C negative 1 multiplied by the determinant of C which is 2 this will give us negative 2 so from here instead of 2 we are going to have a negative 2. This will result into 18 minus 2. Then determinant of A is actually 16. That's it for this lesson video. This is Fahula SJ. Thank you very much.